Right children, we have seen three different type of plants, herbs, shrubs and trees. Apart from these, there are some plants which have very weak stem. So by that they cannot stand erect. Generally plants, they stand erect. They grow away from the ground. Right. But whereas some plants, they have very weak stems and just they creep on the ground. They creep on the ground. So as they are creeping on the ground, they are called as creepers. Why they are creeping? Because their stem is very thin. It's not strong. So they cannot stand erect. So they are creeping on the ground. Some of the creepers, they have some special structures. Some hook like structures by which they catch hold of any support, any pillar, any pole and they grow along the pillar. That means they climb. So when the creepers they climb, they are called as climbers. So what is the difference between a creeper and a climber? Creepers they creep on the ground. Climbers when there is a support, they grow on the support. With the help of special structures, they catch hold of the support and they grow on the support. Right. So that is the difference between the creepers and climbers. So these are different from the other three that is the herbs, shrubs and trees. Right. Now let us explore the different parts of the plant. First, let us discuss about the stem. Stem is the main part of the plant. We know that the stem it gives support. This is a basic point that we have to notice. Right. We know that. The main function of the stem is to give the support. So it is the main support on which all the other parts are accommodated. Stem, it has got leaves and in some cases flowers and fruits. So the stem is the support, main support that is the base on which all the parts are accommodated. Right. So the, let us write the function support, but it performs one more important function. Do you know what is the main or major function of the stem? The stem, it helps in the process of conduction. What is this conduction? You know that we have highways, national highways and roads. So these roads and highways, they connect the different places. So by that the goods are transported through these highways or roads from one place to another place. Right. So we have some factory at Gujarat. There some materials are made, some products are manufactured. So from Gujarat, the products are to be transported to some other place that is to Chennai. So from Gu Gujarat to Chennai, the products are traveled by the roadways or railways. So we need a transport system. In the same way, inside a plant, there is a transport system which transport the materials from place of production or place of obtainment where they are obtained from place of obtaining to the place of utilization that is to the place where it is needed. So the transport is required. So here that transport function is achieved by a system in the plant called as conductive tissue. So there are some special pipelines inside the stem which conduct the water and mineral salts. So you know that plant has got root under the soil. The root it anchors the plant in the soil and it also absorb water and minerals from the soil. So whatever the water and minerals are absorbed by this plant, this water and minerals are taken through the special vessels or pipelines that are present inside the stem. So these pipelines, they carry the water and minerals to different parts like leaves, flowers and fruits. So this is, this is the transportation system, right? So this vessel system is called as a vascular system. The vascular system, it helps in conducting the water and minerals to different parts of the plant like leaves and fruits and again sometimes the food is prepared in the leaves so that food is stored at some other part so the food is conducted by the vascular tissue 
right so here inside the stem there are some special pipelines called vessels that help in the transportation that is the major function so the stem performs a function called as conduction of what conduction of water and mineral salts so this can be identified or observed with a simple activity you yourself can perform this activity so what you need to do this activity let us see you need to have a glass of water then you need a herb with a white or light colored flower take a herb with a light colored flower any herb with a light colored flower okay if possible better you take with a white color flower so here you have taken a herb you have cut the stem of the herb which is having a white flower now you put a few drops of red ink red ink into this water use a dropper so now the water turns to red color and you let it there for a few hours two hours or three hours then you cannot observe one thing one interesting thing what do you observe you will observe that the white color of the flower changes to red that means the water inside the glass tumbler is taken by the stem to the flower so by this we can give the statement that the stem it conducted the water from the glass tumbler to the flower right how can you say that because the flower changed its color that means the red color which is present in this water has reached the flower right so we can do one more activity that we can take out the stem just cut one slice of this stem with the help of a sharp blade but do not use the blade on your own better you take the help of your parents or elders or your teacher somebody's adult supervision is required to use a blade because as it is a very sharp object you may hurt yourself right so better with the help of your sister or brother elder brother or elder sister or your parents just collect the thin section slice of the stem and use a magnifier a hand lens to see that so if you take a slice if you cut the stem into a slice so inside you can see that colored dots that shows that the stem has got some pipelines or vessels which are carrying the water right so now you can do the same experiment with a different setup you have taken two glasses a and b and you have taken a flower with a stem but you peel the stem into two so you have split the stem into two now you arranged the stem in two glasses one with blue color ink the other with red color ink after some time what do you observe so here the half part of the stem which is in the red and half part of the stem which is in the blue both will conduct the water both will conduct the color so this one in case of b blue color is conducted in case of a red color is conducted so both the colors appear in the flower so that's what so by this you can conclude that stem it performs the function of conduction stem has got some special pipelines called as vessels which conduct the water and minerals to different parts of the plant right that's all about the stem so the next important part of the plant that is the leaf now let us learn some interesting facts about the leaf now let us look at the another important part that is the leaf leaf is a green color part of the plant most of the leaves are green in color of course there are certain leaves with red color and white color patches right so that is an exceptional case but most of the leaves are green in color because of a pigment chlorophyll so the main function the major function of the leaf you know that it is the preparation of food the process is called as photosynthesis now let us see the parts of a leaf a leaf it has got a broad surface a leaf is a flat organ 
the surface or the green part of the leaf is called as lamina. Right? So the green part of the leaf is called as lamina. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.